Welcome to Ion Plainsboro. My name is Anthony Cancro, Township Administrator for Plainsboro. Today I'm joined with Les Varga, Director of Planning and Zoning. We're on site today for an approved project, residential project, and I'm going to be talking to the two principals of the company. But first I'm going to be talking to Les Varga. Les, tell us a little bit where we are located physically right now. Well, right now we're at the very edge of the redevelopment area that the hospital did when they actually purchased the property from FMC oh, about 10 or 11 years ago right now. That property was broken up into various different uses. Right now we're standing on a parcel that is dedicated for an adult retirement community. And as you mentioned, there's an approved project for that right now. And, and the size of the property approximately? About 38 acres. Okay. And as you said, this is part of the redevelopment area. Right. Tell us a little bit about the concept of a, rede re a redevelopment area. And, and how this fits into that. When Princeton Healthcare originally purchased the property from FMC, in 2008, a redevelopment plan was approved by the planning board and the governing body, which essentially carved up the property on about 160 acres into various uses for the hospital, for an adult retirement community, for uh, adult daycare centers, for the area that's currently occupied by the Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania, and then the other area for the Merwick uh, assisted living facility. So this is the 38 acres that's strictly dedicated for residential, which will be an adult retirement community. A project like this has to have certain approvals. Can you talk to me about the approvals that the township had to provide? Sure. The planning board is actually the agency that approves the project. The good news, though, is really that the redevelopment plan really set the stage in terms of the bulk, the density, all the setback requirements, the parking requirements, and even the architecture for the, for the site. So it was really just a matter of the planning board giving a, a look at the project in terms of the architecture and the ult ultimate development. All the utilities are on site, so it was pretty much just a perfunctory review, mm -hmm. assuming that everything within the redevelopment plan was adhered to, in which case it was. Were there any uh, conditions put on the development at all? Well, like any project, there are, there are certain conditions that need to be met in terms of the actual height of the building, uh, the dimensions of the parking areas, the amount of parking, where that is located, the uh, screening from Plainsboro Road. Signage is also uh, usually a big issue, um, as well as the actual parking count mm -hmm. and in terms of uh, handicap spaces, uh, in terms of the glazing of the building, mm -hmm. which is really the windows and how the fenestration, the actual uh, sheathing of the building looks, because there was an actual overall theme in the redevelopment plan, which as you can tell from the hospital itself, mm -hmm. uh, is really kind of an architectural gem and we wanted to make sure that that was kept and maintained throughout the whole project review process. So from a municipal point of view, the planning board has acted and approved the project? It has. This is a fully uh, compliant project with the redevelopment plan. Uh, right now, we're really, all is left is compliance with those conditions mm -hmm. and then um, applying for a building permit. Good. Thank you very much, Les. I'm now joined by Peter and Alec Monahan, and uh, gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about the company that's going to do the project behind this? Alec? Yes. Well, first of all, I'm with CBRE. Uh, we're a global real estate services firm, and we really identified uh, the site uh, about three or four years ago as a potential uh, senior housing opportunity, and we put it to a number of people in the market, and at that time, Endeavor Property Group. Uh, down in Philadelphia was beginning to make a big push into senior housing. Okay. So knowing Barry Rabner and knowing uh, Melind and knowing you know, Les and Ron certainly by reputation mm -hmm. in terms of um, how easy they were mm -hmm. uh, uh, to work with, how, you know, how you know, they make the process very uh, uh, easy. Uh, Mark Solomon I knew at the time. So mm -hmm. it really was early days, but it was sort of the last mm -hmm. linchpin in the, in the project. So I identified it to, to Peter Monahan, uh, who's a principal with Endeavor Property Group. So you want to tell us a little bit about the, the formal partnership you do have and, and how they complement each other? Yes. Well, um, my, my company, Endeavor Property Group, uh, we formed in 2001, and we've completed a little over 
2 million square feet of commercial mm -hmm. properties and 2,000 apartments in sort of the mid-Atlantic region and we continue to be active in those same six states today okay. and when Alec uh, came across this opportunity we were uh, we were very intrigued and uh, immediately uh, started our due diligence investigation and became very apparent that Plainsboro checked a lot of the boxes. It had a highly educated uh, and fairly affluent uh, population, mm -hmm. uh, proximity to medical uh, shopping, hospitality. So it had had all the features, attributes that we look for. And then uh, what we really liked was the master plan that mm -hmm. had been approved some years before we got involved. Uh, a terrific vision, I think, both on the part of the township and, and Barry Rabner, the CEO of, of Princeton Healthcare, to mm -hmm. uh, create a lot of symbiotic uses. Uh, and there, we're going to be joining Merwick, who's here, Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. Maplewood from Westport, Connecticut, all sort of what we consider best of class in, okay. in the diff different disciplines. So we're, we're very excited to be here. So I, I know the planning board did their due diligence and uh, approved it. Uh, why don't you give us some detail of the project? I know it's residential. I know it's about 305 units, but why don't you talk about the mix and, and how you see that fitting into this area and how the rest of the area complements the project? Sure. Our, our, the, our project is going to be independent living. Uh, our typical entrance age is in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, but independent individuals, so sort of the first stage in, in a continuum of, of senior care. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And we have a combination of 45 townhouses uh, and 200, 260 apartments, a four-story uh, apartment building. Mm -hmm. It'll have tremendous amenities, several uh, dining options mm -hmm. from a bistro to full uh, white table cloth dining, a uh, fitness center, indoor pool, movie theater, mm -hmm. Really a terrific uh, environment. Uh, and talk about the townhouses being a for sale product. Yep, townhouses will be for sale. The entire project is age restricted, 55 and above. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know the approximate square footage of apartment plus or minus and, and townhomes? Apartments range from a, a small studio of maybe 500 mm -hmm. uh, to a larger one, or two bedroom might be 1,100 square feet, probably averaging around 900 square feet okay. and the townhouses are uh, a little over 2,000 square feet uh, three bedrooms okay so this might be the step when somebody sells their house because their children have gone on to live somewhere else they want to downsize they want to come to where uh, a smaller unit somewhat smaller and have all the amenities that they would need to be sufficient exactly yeah it's a low maintenance uh, lifestyle mm -hmm. and and people today uh, as, as we age, the, this latest generation, much more active, want to travel, mm -hmm. want to pursue, a lot are still working, uh, but they don't want the big, you know, uh, aggravations that come with a large, a large home. So okay. uh, it's, a good, it's a good solution for some. I, I know you touched on this, but I'd like to hear it again. You know, why Plainsboro? What, what, what was the attraction? You talked about um, the great team of people we have in town, the master plan, but, but why? The master plan the proximity to, to Princeton Health Healthcare, which uh, may become Penn, Penn Medical mm -hmm. in, in the near future. Uh, the tremendous accessibility, uh, both to public transportation and to New York City and to universities. Uh, it mm -hmm. had, it really had cultural activities, had, had everything that uh, we think, you know, a senior resident would, would value. Great. And in a perfect world, when would you guess we might have a, a groundbreaking? And then in a perfect world, how many months or years after that, maybe a ribbon cutting? Well, we're, again, working closely with Plainsboro, uh, uh, crossing T's and dotting, dotting some final I's. But we hope to get uh, a demolition permit for the monstrosity that sits behind us mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and uh, do that uh, over the summer mm -hmm. and, and hopefully secure building permits uh, late August and September, and then uh, we anticipate about an 18-month construction period. Mm -hmm. So that should bring us into the spring of 2019 when we'll have a, a grand opening. And you see it as a complete project, not phased. It's going to be 
everything will be done whenever it's done in, in 2019. Yes, the, the apartment building will be built in one time. Okay. The uh, townhouses will built uh, will be phased as as they sell. I see. I'd likely completed by that same time. Okay. Is there anything you want to leave our, our audience with, either one of you, as far as the project or uh, going forward? Just just uh, just a just a thanks to Plainsboro. We 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 work in a number of municipalities in in those same six states and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, while Plainsboro is, has rigid, you know, strict guidelines, uh, we found the staff to be tremendous and helpful, and our professional team worked well with the staff, and, mm -hmm. and it was it was a, it was a nice outcome for us. Great, thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, Ali. Thanks, thank Anthony. You, Peter. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on I Am Plainsboro.